Welcome to the Backyard Farm. What's happening y'all? It's Tate with Backyard Farming Supply. We're out here on the new deck, about to wrap this thing up. But I just wanted to go through some of the projects that we've been doing here this year. 2022 has been a very exciting year for the polishing and the updating of the Backyard Farm. So come on down, let's go check it out. Something that I'm really excited about is the size of this new shade deck that we got, little bird perch. Basically, this used to only come out and it was a four foot by four foot landing right at the top of these stairs. This deck is free floating from the house, so it's not connected to the house at all. Here in Colorado, we got really crazy Rocky Mountain soil. So we got a bunch of bentonite in the ground, took a little bit of extra time to pour this concrete slab down here. We've got all of our four by four beams mounted to the concrete slab. And then we came upon here with the treks. The next step is we're gonna be adding a piece of plywood along this whole surface and we'll be good to go. So right here, we have one of the first beds that I added this year. It was the farthest away from the irrigation station. We brought the irrigation over. We got a grafted multi-combo peach tree and another multi-grafted combo peach tree. So we'll have over four types of peaches that are gonna be coming out of this area, which will be perfect for deck picking. Some of the flower varieties we put in are some of my childhood favorites, the Snapdragon, as well as the Brainiac flower. All the little kids that come over to the backyard farm absolutely love it. I'm gonna show you a secret way. We also put in this rock path and we re-edged this whole lawn and we put down this seed blanket, 500 pounds of worm castings. One week ago, we sowed this seed and you can already see in certain areas, it's three, four, five inches tall. Look at all those grasses. So that's where we use worm castings in biochar or soil magic to be able to establish a lot of really rich organic material for that nice foundation. There is not really a right way, just as long as you're making the efforts. Let's keep on going and checking out what we got done this year. The fruit cocktail zone. So first off, we've got this fig here. And yes, this fig could get absolutely monstrous. Also this multi-graft pear tree here, start and shade out this ornamental pear. The fruit cocktail tree is one that sets everybody's imagination on fire. So on this one fruit cocktail bed, I will have 30 types of fruit at least. And it's absolute insanity. Let's go on a tour of Tomato Tunnel. Tomato Tunnel. We really popped it off this year. First off, we did half inch EMT conduit supports. And these half inch EMT conduit supports are nice because they're weather resistant, they're super solid structurally. But the best thing about having this trellis support system is letting these tomatoes climb. I tried to put some of my determinants on this side, which means that they will only reach a determined size of height. I like to shoot for the maximum amount of variety possible. And Tomato Tunnel does exactly that with 40 different varieties of tomato. Let's keep on going. If you give somebody a fish or a tomato, you feed them for a day. But if you teach them how to grow tomatoes, peppers, onions, fruit trees, carrots, that you're gonna feed them and their family for a lifetime. Who has been having Japanese beetle issues this year? These little things are jerks. They came along and they ate all the leaves on my peas and beans. I can't believe you've done this. I don't like them. We continue through the garden. These watermelons are just exploding. This corn grew three feet in the last week. It was about here when I left. It has grown two plus feet easily. This particular variety is the Sweet Illini corn. One variety already popped and dropped its tassels and did its pollination as this one is now starting to set its tassels. I'm hoping that even though they're really close together, that that eliminates a little bit of the cross pollination factor, which can make your, your corns taste 
it's a little bit more starchy and a little bit more like fibrous. What varieties of corn are you growing this year? Look at that. There was not one squash a week ago. Who out there has tried smoked squash? Let's continue the tour of what's happening here in 2022 season. Over here, we've got the apple triangle. These Japanese beetles in the last week decimated a bunch of my apple tree leaves. <laughs> we got the Teenmeister. What's up, dude? What do you want to do in the backyard farm today? Have fun. You know what I just harvested? A kankaku roaster. Get such a ripe. Pick that thing. Oh. What does it taste like? A really sweet pepper. <laughs> All right. Airflow. So that is something that we're doing in the next upcoming. Remember to preserve the harvest for tomorrow. Because if you just eat all of them in one day. How was school today? Great. I got to go to Top Golf. You got to go to Top Golf? What do you think if they taught gardening in school? Would you want gardening at your school? Yes. What would you want them to teach about in gardening school? They Gardening from your backyard is better than going to the grocery store. <laughs> Do you like being out here in the jungle? Yeah. Look at that thing already. When you got home, we were in the middle of doing a garden tour. Do you want to go on the garden tour with us? Yeah! soon we're going to have a class teaching gardening in our backyard right here is going to be the teacher chair and right here is going to be the kids chair and i will be the assistant this gnome i can't get it out of the ground because we put mulch over the bottom so we wanted it to be like an actual tree so this is called the three sisters bed it is beans corn and squash all right next to each other the corn is in is the tallest so it's in the middle the beans is in the back and then the squash is in the front and also we have artichokes okie dokie artichokey these are artichokes So we have some kale. The stems of the kale is purple. I don't like kale. Don't listen to her. Whoa! There is so many Japanese beetles on there. There. On there. <laughs> right here is strawberries, which actually yesterday we picked a bunch of strawberries. There's a bunch of strawberries coming in where they're not supposed to. How close are you to having a backyard farm? Hit us up today to let us discuss how we can make your backyard farm dreams become reality. What's the biggest kind of blueberry? The biggest? Peach sorbet. Ooh, I like the pre peach sorbet. 